हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज द पार्ट टू वीडियो इन फिजियोग्राफिक डिविजन ऑफ इंडिया इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द नेक्स्ट टू फिजियोग्राफिक डिविजन दो पेनसुलर प्लेट्यू रीजन एंड द कोस्टल प्लान द पेनसुलर प्लेट्यू आर पेनसुलर इंडिया इज द नेम गिवेन टू द एरिया स्प्रेडिंग टू द साउथ ऑफ द इंडो गैंजिक प्लेन एंड इट इज सराउंडेड बै सी ऑन थ्री सैड्स This plateau is shaped like a triangle, with its base in the north and a narrow apex to Kanyakumari, which is in south. The general slope of the land of this part is towards north, and the rivers rising in this part flow northwards and join rivers of Ganga system. The rivers like Chambal, Sun, and Damodar are the examples of these rivers. Though most of the rocks in the plateau region are very old, the lava rocks are generally not visible in this part. The rock system of the Peninsular Plateau region extends towards northeast up to Meghalaya Plateau, and this Peninsular Plateau is bounded by Eastern Ghats in the eastern side, Western Ghats in the west western sides, and Aravallis towards northwest. This plateau covers an area of total area of about. 16 lakh square kilometers and its average height is 500 to 900 meters the peninsular plateau spreads over the states like gujarat maharashtra bihar karnataka andhra pradesh jharkhand and telangana and it is composed of old crystalline igneous and metamorphic rocks River Narmada divides peninsular plateau into central highlands in the north and the Deccan plateau in the south. Central highlands this area consists of the some of the oldest rock formations and these central highlands are also known as Madhya Bharat Patthar or Madhya Bharat plateau. These highlands lie to north of river Narmada covering a major area of the Malwa plateau. These highlands are bounded by important ranges like vinja range in the south aravalli mountains towards northwest and chota nagpur plateau in eastwards the important plateaus in central islands are bandelkhand bagalkhand and chota nagpur plateau central highlands further divided into malwa plateau and the chota nagpur plateau the malwa plateau this region lies to the north of the narmada river and is spread across the states Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, and Gujarat. The slope of this region is indicated by the direction in which the river flows, that is, from southwest to northeast. The average age elevation of this area is about 500 meters. And the important rivers in Malwa Plateau are Betwa, Chambal, and Kane rivers. Chota Nagpur Plateau. It is located in eastern India. This plateau extends into the states of Jharkhand, Orissa, West Bengal, Bihar, and Chhattisgarh. The total area of the plateau is about sixty-five thousand square kilometers. It is made up of three smaller plateaus: the Ranchi, the Hazari Bag, and Kogdarma plateaus. It is known to have some of the highest levels of mineral sources in India. with vast deposits of coal and metal ores and the important rivers in chota nagpur plateau are mahadev kaimur and maikal rivers deccan plateau this deccan plateau is formed due to volcanic eruption and it is separated by fault from chota nagpur plateau the deccan plateau lies towards the south of the river narmada the deccan plateau covers most of the central and southern india and its average elevation or the height is almost 600 meters and covers an area of 5 lakh square kilometers it is bordered by two mountain ranges in the west by western ghats and in the east by eastern ghats and in the north by satpura range it is separated from the northern plains by satpura and vinja ranges most of the rivers in the deccan plateau flow from west to the east river godavari and its tributaries irrigate the northern areas of the plateau while the river krishna and its tributaries and river tungabhadra irrigate the middle regions and the southernmost region is irrigated by the river kaveri it is a black soil area which is known as deccan tract 
Deccan Plateau is further divided into Western Ghats and the Eastern Ghats. Western Ghats runs parallel to the Western Coast. The Western Ghats are in the form of continuous range from South to North. The highest range of the Western Ghats is named Sahyadri. And the average height of the Western Ghats is about 1000 meters. The Western Ghats form a major water divide in the Deccan Plateau region and the rivers rising from the eastern slope of these ghats flow towards the Bay of Bengal. Rivers like Godavari, Krishna and Kaveri all rise in the Western Ghats and flow across the Deccan Plateau into Bay of Bengal. Except the rivers like Narmada and Tapti flowing through, through rift valleys. The rivers rising on the western slopes of the western ghats are short turbulent streams flowing over the steep western face of the ghats into Arabian Sea. And the major hill stations in western ghats are Lonawala, Khandala, Mahabaleshwar. And the highest peak in western ghats is Anaimudi which is about 2695 meters. Eastern ghats. Eastern ghats runs parallel to east coast. The eastern ghats on the other hand are formed by series of discontinuous hill ranges with gaps through which the rivers of the peninsular region flow into the Bay of Bengal and the average height of the eastern ghats is about 600 meters. In the important hill stations in the eastern ghats are Udagamandalam also known as Uti and Kodaikanal and the highest peak in the eastern ghats is Mahendragiri, Mahendragiri which is about 15 Zero 01 meters. The fourth physiographic division of India is the coastal plains. Coastal plains runs parallel to Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal along the peninsula plateau. Coastal plains are further divided into the western coastal plains and the eastern coastal plains. The coastal plain stretching along the Bay of Bengal coast is called the eastern coastal plain while the one stretching along the Arabian Sea coast is called the western coastal plain. The Western Coastal Plains. These plains stretches from Ranaf Kutch in north to Kanyakumari in the south. This plain is narrower except for in Gujarat where it is the widest and it is about 10 to 15 kilometers wide. And the important rivers in the Western Coastal Plains are Narmada, Tapti, Mahi and Sabarmati. The Western Coastal Plains comprise of the four sectors. First one is Konkan Coast which is the coast from Mumbai to Goa. Second is Karnataka coast or Kannada coast which is the coast from Goa to Mangalore. And the third is Malabar coast which is from Mangalore to Kanyakumari. And the fourth one is Kathaiwar coast or Gujarat coast which is from Ranaf Kutch to Mumbai. We will see in detail about these four coasts. The first one is Konkan coast which extends between Daman in the north to Goa in the south. Rice and cashew are the important crops grown in this Konkan coast. Second one is Kannada or Karnataka coast. It extends between Marmagaon and Mangalore and it is rich in iron deposits. The third one is Malabar coast which is extending between Mangalore to Kanyakumari. The Malabar coast is relatively broad when compared to Konkan and Karnataka coast. This region also consists of lagoons running parallel to the coast in southern Kerala. Kathiawar coast. Kutch, formerly a gulf in, is formed by deposition of silt by the Indus. The area of Kutch is covered with shallow water during the monsoon and it is divided into great run in the north and little run in the east. Whereas Kathiawar is situated to the south of the Kutch. The Eastern Coastal Plains. These coastal plains stretching along the Bay of Bengal. And it extends from West Bengal to Tamil Nadu through Andhra Pradesh, Telangana and Odisha. The average width of the Eastern Coastal Plains is about 160 to 480 kilometers. These Eastern Coastal Plains are also known as Coromandel Coast. It is broad fertile coastal lowland. And the important rivers in the Eastern Coastal land, uh, Plains are Mahanadi, Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna and Kaveri. Eastern coastal plains are classified into three plains. Those are Utkal plain, Andhra plain and the third one is Tamil Nadu or the Coromandel plain. Utkal coastal plain. This extended between the Chilka lake and the Koleru lake. 
दिस उत्कल कोस्टल प्लेन आर् मच वैडर दैन द वेस्टर्न कोस्टल प्लेन एंड अंडर गो इमें रेनफा रईस कोकोनट अंड बनाना आर् द सम आफ दि इंपारटेंट क्रा दट आर् कलटिवेटेड इन उत्कल कोस्टल प्लेन द सैकेंड वन इज आंध्र कोस्टल प्लेन दीज एक्सटेडेड बिटवी कोलेरू लेक एंड द पुलिकेट लेक द आंध्र कोस्ट फॉर्म्स ए बेसिन एरिया फॉर द कृष्णा एंड द गोदावरी रिवर्स द थर्ड वन इज तमिलनाडु और द कोरमंडल कोस्ट दिस कोस्ट एक्सटेंड्स बिटवीन पुलिकेट लेक एंड कन्याकुमारी इन तमिलनाडु दिस इंडियन कोस्ट लाइन रिमैंस ड्रई इन समर एंड रिसीव्स रेनफा ड्यूरींग द विंटर्स ड्यू टू नार्थ ईस्ट मानसून वी विल सी द रिमैनिंग इंपारटेंट two important physiographic divisions those are the deserts and the islands in the next video thank you okay